pants yeah, one of these uh, atypical, unseasonably warm December days, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, going to be priming us up for uh, the possibility of a severe weather event unfolding tonight. So uh, that's obviously where our focus is going to be. Uh, I know you all just said you look outside, it's pretty gray with the low-hanging cloud cover. You know, if you look out across the way, uh, I went up to the top of the parking structure down at WKU before I came here. Yeah. And you just look out, you know, and it's just, it's very soupy. It's very hazy. You can see yeah. all the moisture that's present in the air. Uh, we're going to be experiencing much more of a typical spring day today right. in comparison to, you know, getting in, closing in on the first official days of winter. Uh, but with uh, temperatures soaring up to around 70 degrees this afternoon, dew points, the moisture mm -hmm. that's in the air is going to be following suit. And uh, that's really going to prime up our atmosphere for tonight. Uh, so we're watching around uh, 10, 11 p.m. to kick off the event lasting through roughly sunrise to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very, very strong cold front that's going to be blasting through here, similar to what we had a few few days ago. Yeah. Um, and I'll just be honest, Tony, the reason why I hate fall and winter severe events right. is what we're seeing unfold, not just a couple of days ago, but again tonight. Yeah. It's the dead of night. It's the pre-dawn hours of Saturday. The vast majority of the people are going to be asleep. You know, don't be scared. Be prepared. That's what I always say. Uh, but it does look like we'll have a pretty uh, jarring line of storms roll through here tonight. Yeah, hey, I just try to bring honesty. You know, I'm not the guy who, you know, tries to flip out and get everyone scared to death or nothing like that. But uh, I think we'll start seeing some pop-up sales around the 10 p.m. to midnight time frame. And then the cold front's going to come through a little bit later during the pre-dawn hours of Saturday to bring the uh, the main squall line through here.